Welcome to this short guide on artificial intelligence in social work. Over the next few minutes, we'll explore what AI actually is, why it's becoming useful in practice, and how you can get the best results by writing strong prompts. When we talk about AI in social care, we usually mean generative AI. These are tools that can create text, images, or even audio based on the instructions we give them. They're not here to take over our jobs or judgment, but to work alongside us, like a co-pilot helping with some of the heavy lifting. AI has the potential to cut down on time spent doing repetitive admin. It can make long policies or pieces of law easier to digest, and it can support reflective learning. But it has limits. It cannot replace our values, our ethics, or the professional accountability that defines social work. Used well, it's a tool to strengthen practice, not to undermine it. Everything starts with the prompt. A prompt is simply the instruction we type in. The clearer we are with that instruction, the clearer and more useful the answer will get back. In other words, the quality of the output depends on the quality of the input. Good prompts don't happen by accident. They're specific rather than vague. They give context about the task and the audience. They can assign a role, such as asking the AI to act as a practice educator or as a student. They set a format, such as bullet points or short paragraphs. And they're refined step by step until the result fits the need. These small tweaks make a big difference. There are three useful types of prompting. Zero shot means you give no example. The AI works only with your instruction. One shot means you give one example, so the AI can mirror your style. Few shot means you provide two or more examples, which allows the AI to really lock into your preferred structure and tone. Each step gives you more control over the output. As we continue a conversation with AI, it remembers the history of our prompts. This is called the context window, and it means each new answer is shaped by what came before. Alongside that, we must think about ethics. Ethical use means following the law, always using your own words, checking outputs for bias or mistakes, and remembering that accountability rests with us. AI can support practice, but it should never replace professional judgment. To sum up, AI can be a powerful support tool in social work. It can help us structure ideas, explain complex laws more simply, and even save valuable time. But your reflection your voice and your accountability are what truly matter. Thanks for joining this session. And remember, you can find more free resources and example prompts at tessatools.org.